Uh, I just got off the telephone with Gabriel Plotkin, who runs that firm. Uh, they have taken a, a rather huge loss. I do not have the full number on what that loss looked like. Uh, as was reported yesterday, both Citadel uh, and Point72 have infused something on the order of close to $3 billion into uh, Melvin Capital to try to shore up its finances. Really interesting and, and a relatively rare transaction in the hedge fund world. This involves a, a firm called Melvin Capital, which is headed by uh, Gabe Plotkin. It's done very well in recent years, but like many long short funds in the hedge fund industry right now, it has found itself on the wrong side of many short bets, which have surged uh, in recent As weeks. a result, uh, the firm has actually obtained uh, investments from both Citadel uh, and Point 72. 72 actually seeded. Um, Melvin, uh, back when it was founded about six years ago, uh, and Citadel is also uh, a, pre a prior investor. Uh, but basically, they are coming in, they're taking a non-controlling revenue share of the firm, of Melvin, as a way to help them uh, get through these difficult times, providing some liquidity to the firm, uh, as they have seen performance suffer about 30 percent for 2021 uh, through last week, largely due to, as I mentioned, uh, that short book. So you obviously made a big investment in, in Melvin in the middle of this, Melvin Capital. Do you think that was a mistake? No, I think Gabe Plotkin is one of the finest investors of his generation. But, but, but given what the public perception became uh, around this idea that, that, that Citadel was behind uh, Plotkin on one side, behind Robin Hood on the other. In retrospect, do you, do you think it, it created a perception of a conflict? If I had to run my business to the possibility of an insane conspiracy theory emerging at any point in time, I would have no business.